Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to try out some color shift paint on a coaster. Here are the paint colors that I that I went and got. Lots of pretty colors, and I think that I will do the purple on the outside. And I'm going to just paint right on the mold. Very simply, I'm going to paint on it. And we'll just set it aside to dry. It's going to have holes in the finish just because that's what the paint does on silicone. So we'll just let it dry and then we'll see how it is and maybe we'll put a coat of a different color on or something. We'll just play it by ear and see how it goes but that's what it looks like so far. And the color shift by the way is um, if you look at it from a different direction it's supposed to look like it's a different color. You can kind of see it on the lids like where it'll look purple and then it'll look green. It just depends on what direction you're looking at it from. The color shift paint has mostly dried. Now I'm going to put just a thin layer of the yellow on there too. So it will hopefully peek through where the purple didn't take. And on this one I am just going to add some pigment powder behind it. And we'll just see how that works out. I have mixed my resin. I'm going to just pour it right into the mold. Then we'll just let it sit. It'll take about 15 minutes for it to fully cure. And then we'll be able to put our color shift paint on there. I have my colors on my palette. All I'm going to do is paint on here. My goal here is just to see how these paints look under resin. They're pretty thick, so it's not like I can um, have them flow or anything. So I'm going to take two colors at a time and just sort of blend them. And these paints are indoor outdoors, what I read. And I don't know if you have to be really thick to see the color shift when it dries. Um, so we're just going to kind of play around with it, wing it a little bit. And that's it. I'm just going to let them dry. Might break up that purple just a little bit. And then we'll just see if the color shift works. Uh, maybe it has to be a thicker coat. I don't know. Here are the coaster with the dried paint. I'm going to pop them right out. And here is what the paint looks like on the back. Here's one where I did the yellow behind it. We have a lot of extra paint on these edges, so I'm just going to take my scissors, cut it off. And you can take a little file and file the edges right now if you wanted to, or you could do it later. Just take like an old nail file, works just fine, like emery board. All you're doing is cleaning up that very edge. Wipe off the dust, you're good to go. Now I'm going to just mix two ounces of resin and put it on here. I've mixed my resin and now all I'm going to do is slowly pour it on here. Now I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, then I'm going to let them sit a minimum of 12 hours before I handle them. The Color Shift coasters have cured and here they are. Here's the back. So they look kind of cool there where you can see the color shifts. This one goes right here from blue to green. You got purple going to orange. So pretty cool. And that's a pretty light coat of these on here. I just sort of gave them a light paint, a lot of brush strokes in there and everything too. But it looks cool anyway because it is metallic. I'm not sure you can fully appreciate it on camera, 
but I hope you guys like it and this is just that color shift paint that they've had in the craft store for a while. I'm not sure how long they've had it, but I've noticed it for a while and I thought I'd give it a try. Hope you guys like the color shift coasters and give them a try. The color shift paints are kind of cool. I've tried them on a couple of other projects and I'm sure I'll be using them again soon. And I hope you give them a try as well. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys.